Hey, you there. What are you doing here? Whoa, keep calm. I'm no threat. I'm the one with the sword. And so I'll decide that, got it? Let's try again. What are you doing here? The boat I was on sank. I landed on the beach. So one of the crew survived the storms, eh? We'd heard it was just the Inquisitor. You don't look like you're with the Inquisition. I was a stowaway. On an Inquisition ship? You're lucky they didn't catch you and throw you overboard. Or worse, turn you into one of them. Someone or something is looking out for you. And I ain't gonna mess with that. But don't stretch your luck. The white robes catch you here, you'll be in trouble. If you want my advice, then find yourself a good weapon. You won't get far without one. There may be something around here. Have a look. Come back to me when you found something. found this sword. Good. I hope you know how to use it. What can you tell me about this place? What do you want to know? There's a girl came ashore with me. She's in an abandoned house to the south. South? Must be the old shipwrecker's house. I'll head that way later. If she's there, I'll take her somewhere safe. Looks like I'm going to be stuck here for a while. Anywhere I can get some food or pick up some gold? Ha! <laughs> Not round here at any rate. I just asked for this post so I can watch the storms. Amazing things when they blow past. Strange how they never come inland. A few weeks ago I would have sent you to Harbour Town, but not anymore. Why not? It's full of Inquisition. Protecting those ruins and recruiting for the damn white road cult at the monastery. I'm with the Don myself. We're the only ones who are still free. Living in a camp in the middle of a swamp. But freedom's freedom. I'd head to the swamp. See if the Don will take you in. Or try your luck in Harbour Town. Just stay away from the monastery. You mentioned a monastery. What happens there? The last place you want to be. It's where the Inquisition train their recruits. Brainwash them. Stay well away from there. So is Harbour Town safe? What are the Inquisition doing there? Not much at the moment. There are still some of our boys in there. They might help you out. And that white robe lot probably won't bother you too much. I can show you the way, but believe me, you'd be better off at our camp. What's the Don got to offer me? Meat, beer, a job. He might even train you as a fighter. You got a sword, after all. Most they'll let you have up at the monastery is a staff. Just a big stick. That's not a real weapon.
Hey, you came back. Yeah, and I've had a look around. What did you find out? Well, there are people on this island, but they seem to live by their own laws. And there are things going on around here that I don't fully understand. That's the impression I got. This is a strange place. Well, thanks for letting me know. I think I'll stay around here. I'm not ready to deal with people. Particularly not the Inquisition right now. Before I forget, I found this potion. I kept it in case you came back. I'm guessing your need is going to be greater than mine. Now, I hope I can find somewhere better to camp than this horrible place. I've asked someone to come down here and help you look for somewhere. He seems like a good guy. Really? Thanks for that. Have you noticed how this island seems to be free of storms? Everything just happens around it. It's very odd. I hope this island treats you better than the storm that brought us here. All right, show me the way to your camp. Good man, follow me. What are you waiting for? Come with me. Look to the north. You see the ruins sticking out of the ground? Yeah, I've seen ones like that before. Well, the White Robes set up a camp there. If you're smart, you won't be seen up there. Otherwise, you'll be snatched up and taken to the monastery. Do you want to be a slave or a free man? You're really hammering this home, aren't you? Ah, sorry, sorry. You're right, you're your own man. Free to do what you like. Come on. It isn't much further. Let's go. If you follow the path north, you'll come to our camp. And watch out for the hunters. The lazy beggars are always trying to get others to do their work for them. Thanks for your help. You've been through enough. You deserve a bit of kindness. I'm sure I'll see you around. Good luck. Ah! <laughs> 
my way. Ah! Those beasts deserve no mercy. Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? I'm just taking a look around. <laughs> just messing. Have to make my own entertainment. Gets a bit boring round here, apart from the rotworms eating people. I'd stay on the walkway and not go too far out into the swamp. Believe me, being eaten by those creatures is not the way a man should go. Hang on, I think I've got a map somewhere you can have. Although by the looks of you, you could do with a better weapon. I'm new around here. Got swept in with the tide. What can you tell me about this place? Ah, I see. Well, then there are a few things you should know. This whole swamp area, from here to the temple in the north, it's run by Don Esteban, our leader. I wouldn't mess with him if I were you. He's got some fighters working for him that'd break your jaw as happy as look at you. Where can I get a better weapon? Depends on what you're after. Some swear by a good blade, others prefer the heft of an axe. I'm a hunter, so I favour a bow and arrow. I've got a couple of nice specimens here, actually. For the right price, I'm sure I could part with one or two. Let's trade. What can you tell me about the temple? Came up from the ground about the time these storms started, and all these beasts came out of it. Never seen the like before. Indescribable they are. Our fighters soon sorted them out. I doubt there's much still alive in there. Well, apart from the Don. He's moved into the temple now. Don't see him very often. No one really knows what he's doing in there. 
Me, I say hunt, kill, and don't ask too many questions. So, you haven't always been here in the swamp? No. Nah, we used to have the whole of Harbour Town until the Inquisition came. All their magic and robes and stuff. They pushed us out here. Between you and me, I think the Don's pride took a bit of a knock. He hasn't been the same since. Most folks hate this place, but I like the fresh air. New things to hunt. Always felt too cooped up in town. What are rotworms? Mm, they can't really be described. Indescribable, they are. They're like giant, rotting worms. You can ask Ricardo in the camp. So, what's your boss doing in the temple? I couldn't say for sure, but he's become very keen on collecting gold at the moment. He's got diggers working these ruins, and he always gives them a share. He's good like that. I think maybe he's planning on trying to take back Harbour Town. Gold commands a lot of power around here. Maybe even more than the Inquisition with their damn cult. What else can you tell me about the Inquisition? Same as everyone else, really. Don't get too close to them, or you'll find yourself dragged off to that monastery. They're not right in the head. I think they do something to them up there. I'm keeping well away. I advise you to do the same. What do you hunt in the swamp? Less and less. There are only a few beasties. They may look unappetizing, but you'd be surprised what our cook can do. About the only thing left big enough to feed us all is this large worm over to the west. But he's a big fella. I really need help to take him down. Probably a bit of help to keep him down after I've eaten him too. How about I help you hunt this worm? Oh, that's good of you. Tell you what, if we kill that thing together, I'll give you 30 gold. I hope you're well prepared. <laughs> Don't want your death on my conscience. Come on, let's go kill this rock worm. That's the spirit? Right, ready your weapon and stay close to me. Draw your weapon! <laughs> Come on. See, that's what being a hunter is all about. The thrill of the hunt, the buzz of the kill. Ah, oh, that's made my week, that has. I've killed that worm. You don't need to worry about it. One less worm is no bad thing. Here, have 30 gold for your trouble. Hey, if you're going to the camp, can you take this raw meat with you? They always need food there. Just give it to Rachel, the cook. I'm going to stay here, see if I can spot my next challenge. Can you teach me about hunting? To be honest, I'm not a very good teacher. I just sort of have an instinct for it. Lewis is your man. He taught me. Ask him. Lewis? Right.
Wish I knew about prospecting. What do you want? Man like you has clearly seen some action. Well, you know, I don't like to boast, but I've crushed a few heads. If you want to eat here, you have to work. You want a free ride? Try those white robes at the monastery. They'll give you a free ride all the way to their excavation camps. And keep your paws off other people's stuff while you're here. Or you'll lose your paws. I don't know. What do I want? You were looking at me. I'm new here. I'm just getting to know people. If you don't know I'm the best fighter in the camp, then you won't be near long enough for me to care. Hey. Hey. Any trouble today? No. Expecting any? No. Must be fun being a guard. Hmm. Not really. What exactly do you guard in a swamp? Flies. The smell. The dawn. The dawn. Back there in that temple. But my post is here. In the swamp. Sounds like an important job. What is there round here that people need guarding from? You must have seen them. Seen what? Those things. Things? The things from the ruins. There are ruins everywhere. The ones that came up from the ground. The ground is warped or something. That's where these things are? Yeah. They're all over that excavation site in the middle of the swamp. And? They make me nervous. Why? They're... disgusting. Uh-huh. Who's in charge here? The Don. Who? The Don. Right. Where is the Don? In the temple. Is he religious? Ha! <laughs> so what does he do in there? Avoids being out here. You ever have any problems with the locals? Locals? They give you any trouble, you just smack them around. Or you could try talking to them. You don't talk much. What do I want to talk for? I don't know you. Getting anything out of you is like pulling teeth. That's why I make such a good guard. You must have picked up some skills to be a guard. I know how to fight. And I can handle a crossbow. Can you train me? To fire a crossbow? All right. But it will cost you. All right. Let's try this question. Tell me more about these things, the ones in the excavation site. They're disgusting, big, insect things. I wish someone would get rid of them. I can. I'd need pay, say, 30 gold coins. 30? Yeah, it's worth that to get rid of those things. They're disgusting. Keep my gold warm. I'll be back for it. I want to improve my fighting skills.
I don't want trouble. Uh, well, that was death. Uh. What are you doing up here? Hiding. So, what are you hiding from? Work. Right. Don't get me wrong, I'd like to be working. Only I can't. You see all these huge insects turned up at the excavation site. I'm not going back to work while they're still there. I like my job, but I'm not going to die for it. Which fighters are responsible for protecting the excavation site? Just Ricardo, but I've not seen him there for a while. Don't think he cares much about us workers. He'll care if the work doesn't get done, and he ends up doing it. I'll have a word with him. Okay, but don't tell him I told you. He's almost as bad as those creatures. Doesn't anyone do anything in this camp? But don't get me wrong, I'm a worker. Man of the earth, me. There's nothing fancy about moving soil round. But work is what I do best. Tell me about your work. About digging? Well, like I say, it may be dirty work, but someone's got to do it. You fancy trying? Just look for a sandy spot in one of the excavation sites, then you stick your shovel in the ground and dig. Who knows? You might even find something. I'll take care of those insects. You? Why not let the fighters do it? And that's what they're there for. Do you see any here, though? I'll take care of it. Aren't you supposed to be protecting the excavation site in the swamp? I am. The worker, Brannon. He says he's been waiting forever for you. I don't care about workers. I can see why they made you a guard. Please don't disturb me. Hey. Hmm. I've not seen you before. Who are you? A fresh-faced young man eager to experience the thrill of an outlaw's life? Uh, maybe. I can't think why else you'd be here. There are warm alehouses and welcoming brothels in the town. Food and indoctrination at the monastery. Are you a woodcutter for the camp? Just because I'm cutting wood doesn't mean I'm a woodcutter. Actually, I'm a hunter. My lads and I provide meat for the camp. So you lead the hunters? Normally, yeah. But as you can see, I've got vital woodcutting work to do. So, right now, my hunters are running wild like free spirits. Or they think they are. Can you teach me to hunt? Sure you wouldn't rather chop wood? I was thinking more of hunting. Then you're talking to the right man. Can you teach me about hunting? Shouldn't you get someone else to cut the wood? I'd love to, believe me. But Brogar would nail me to a tree if I left this wood unsawn. Brogar? One of the Don's lieutenants, the leader of the fighters, a, shall we say, powerful, single-minded man. And you're his personal woodcutter? For my sins. Why does he want you to do it? I tangled with him, and now I have to pay. We live by Brogar's laws, eh? you? Brogar's laws? Not the Don's? The Don wants me to hunt, Brogar wants his fire stoked. You judge who's really in charge. Why don't you stand up to Brogar? Him and all his fighters, you mean? So everyone's afraid of him. You clearly haven't met him yet. Then you'd understand. He's over there. Go and introduce yourself. Then decide whether you'd stand up to him. He's not what they say. Hey. Did I look like I wanted to talk to you? Whoa there. Someone shoot your dog? Stupid and mouthy don't wash well round here. Especially not from workers. Do I look like a worker? 
Maybe not. You ain't coated in shit. Now enough questions. I'm hungry. Bring me a haunch of fried meat from Rachel, the cook up by the smithy. Bit snooty. But a looker. The Don's a lucky man. Of course, with him in that temple all the time, she might need a bit of... company. Here's some meat. This didn't come from Rachel. So? So this smells like a rancid fucking badger. Are you trying to poison me? I said get it from her. Did you know Ricardo isn't at his post? At the swamp excavation site? You telling tales now? Just being helpful. Well, unless you've got orders from me, stay out of my business. Hey, you don't look like the rest of the Don's men. Me? I'm the one the rest of them treats like dirt. Day in, day out, me and my workers try our best. And they need us, the bosses. But do they realize that? I wish they'd come and see what it's like. See if they like being eaten by swamp worms. Why is it so bad here? We keep losing men to the worms. And there are even worse fates too. I'd rather be anywhere else. But we have to collect anything made of gold and take it to Beppo. We didn't expect to have to fight the monsters here. We're not trained for it. And that bastard Brogar should be protecting us. But do his fighters ever come and help? Do they? Hell. Too drunk, most of them. If I'm going to take action, I'll need better armor. I can give you workers' clothes, that's all. And you'd have to pay. After all, you're not a worker. Why should I clothe you? We're all stuck on this island in this swamp together. We might as well help each other. I'll see if I can get your workers back to work. You won't. If I can't, what chance does a stranger have? Are you in charge of the workers here? Yeah, I'm supposed to oversee the workers at the excavations. The morale is so low that the men don't care anymore. So the excavations have stopped? They won't be happy when they find out. The Don's supposed to be a fair man. But Brogar isn't. And he should be protecting us. If any of my men were good at fighting, they'd have gone long ago. I'd be living it up in the bars and brothels of Harbour Town. I can talk to Brogar for you. Don't. It'll only cause trouble. We've tried everything. Brogar's not going to listen to you. What can you tell me about Brogar? Nothing. I'm not telling you anything. I don't want trouble. You've already got trouble. Yeah, but I'm not dead. I'd rather take my chances with the worms than get Brogar angry. Brogar can't be that bad. Brogar is all bad. Ask the hunters. They'll tell you what he's capable of. Well, I offered to help. Are any of your workers around? They should all be at the excavation site. But that doesn't mean they will be. You'll recognize them. They'll be wearing workers' clothes. Even if they've got no intention of working. Uncontrollable, most of them. That's what the swamp and being ignored does to you. How did you end up in charge of the workers? Don't think I volunteered. No way. The Don pointed his finger at me and said, You will oversee the excavations. And that was it. So the Don doesn't take no for an answer. Maybe I can do something to help. How many excavation sites are there? Three. One east of the temple, and two right in the middle of the swamp. Look for the artifact crates. They mean you're in the right place. Right. They were right below the whole time. The east? Ruins That's quite a east. weapon. Oh, you are.
do it right below us the whole time. The east? Not right now. Ruins in the east, I heard. Hey. Lost, are you? Don't you worry about it. I'll take care of you. Who are you? Craig. And if you want a fortune in gold, I'm your man. Your job is to distribute wealth. Exactly. I arrange little wages, you give me your gold, and you could double it. What odds do you offer? Ah, uh, you're interested. Ah, listen up, I'll explain. You give me a sum in gold, if you win, I'll pay you back double. And if I lose? There are no losers, only future repeat gamblers. I'll just keep your gold warm until you want to try and win it back. And can I be sure you'll pay out if I win? Oh, you of little faith. I'm hurt. If I wasn't honest, do you think I'd last two minutes around here? How do I place a bet? Oh, nothing easier. We bet on anything here. Who'll be the next worker to get eaten by a swamp creature? The next winner in the arena? Anything. You can even bet on yourself. If you want to go into the arena. People fight for gold. Don't sound so surprised. People have fought for gold since time began. There's a small arena over in the west. That's where it happens. I bet you're worth a gamble. Tough looking fella like you. Is there somewhere around here I can train for combat? I wouldn't normally do this, but I'll train you if you like. Always good to get the inside skinny, in case you go into the arena. Tell me more about the arena. It's all friendly, just a few bruises and broken limbs. It isn't to the death, it's where we train and test ourselves. Well, if you fancy a fight, just challenge one of our fighters. If he accepts, he'll go into the arena with you. The fight starts when both willing volunteers are in the arena with their weapons drawn. The first fighter to go down loses. That's clear enough. Which of the fighters here are the best? Based on recent form, Ricardo's a loser. Lorenzo isn't too sharp either. Used to be all right. Faded a bit these days. I'd say Domingo is probably the best in camp. I've decided to fight in the arena. That's what I wanted to hear. Well done. Do yourself proud. Remember, once either man hits the ground, the fight's over. Carrying on when your opponent's on the dirt, well, that's not fair play, is it? You'll pay dearly if you break that rule. Right. Does Brogar ever fight in the arena? You looking to lose bits of yourself? Just ask him would be risking your skin. Forget it. That's my advice. Why? He's not one to mess with. Arena fighting's a game. Brogar doesn't play games. Neither do I. You'd be a good opponent. Why don't you fight me in the arena? Ah, I should have seen that coming. Think about it. This is my domain. I even bet on myself. Well, you got spirit, but try someone easier. <laughs> I don't like faces I don't know well, and your face is too pretty. Slap some makeup on you and you could work the brothels. You know I'm new here, then. Shiny skin, gormless expression. <laughs> You're not the first. It's the heap of gold in the temple. It sucks in idiots like flies to shit. But there's no one round here that wants to split their share of the Don's gold any further. You're a fighter, right? I took the advice my teacher gave me. Find something you like and make it your job. What's the Don going to do with the gold? Invest in Swampland? We might be stuck here now, but we're not gonna be here forever. Once those religious nutcases are gone, Harbour Town will be ours. Then you'll see.
What are the Inquisition doing in the town? Pretty face. Shame you're thick as pig shit with it. They only need the town to give them a supply route. The real work happens in the monastery. Fuck knows what they do up there. Instead, I get washed up in this place. Where did the Don get all his gold? See that temple? We took it. And guess what? It was full of gold and artifacts and stuff. Now it's full of guards, an ogre, and surrounded by us. There are temples all over the island. Why don't you bugger off and find your own? You just walk in and take the gold from the temple ruins. Yeah, it's that simple. Go on, try it. Then you'll see the beasts that come charging out of those ruins. You have to deal with them before you get to the shiny stuff. So you've cleared all those creatures out of the ruins? Keen to see them, are you? All right. We'll go to a temple ruin nearby. You help me deal with the creatures there, then you can get your share of the gold. How do we split the gold? 50-50. What's the catch? There's no catch. We clear the place and split the rewards. You've got a deal. Good. Follow me. Keep behind me. Now, no one can see us here, so let's have ourselves a little chat. What about? I've met people like you, troublemakers. Right, so we're not here for the temple. You're getting the picture. It's just you and me, and you're gonna give me your gold. If this is about gold, have it. Here. You think you can win me over like that? With gold? Well, you're right. Give it here. Now, consider our relationship over. Good. How are we going to eat? All the farmers are in the town, no hunters are going out. It's too crazy. Uh, you look tired. And you look ugly. Piss off. What are you doing here? I'm admiring the view. Great view. That's why we get all these tourists. Ha! Huh. That and the friendly locals. Nice warm fire, this. Nice and safe. Brogar send you to get on my nerves. I'm just making conversation. And I'm just telling you to piss off. You think he looks sick? Looks sick to me. I don't want to catch it. The last thing I need is some disease. You look relaxed. The busy mosquito is swatted at dawn. The happy snail does nothing but yawn. We're in a swamp. What's there to make an effort for? The Don just lets you relax. Never see him. Beppo's always chasing us to hump crates round. All that effort for what? A pile of old crap. Hawkins is my boss, and if Hawkins doesn't care, Beppo can go screw himself. And Hawkins doesn't care about anything. Right. Hey, Dwight. You need to start shifting those crates over to Beppo. And who are you to be telling me what to do?
How about I pay you some gold, you work, and then you relax. If a man you want to work the day, a little gold will grease the way. Pleasure doing business with you. Put your weapons down. Yeah. You've gone Whoa. totally mad. What was that? Ah. A little more for me. Hey. Who are you? What do you want? I'm not going back. I won't. Tell them I won't. Easy, easy. I'm not here to cause trouble. That's what you expect me to believe. But as soon as my back's turned, you will drag me there, bury me again. Bury me with them. Who is them? Them. The ancients. They're everywhere. Just listen. The screams, the whispering. Oh, I wish I couldn't hear it. I wish they weren't speaking to me. What whispering? What are you talking about? It's those temples. Rising from the ground, the voices came from them. Who is it whispering? The ancients. All the things they find, the temples, they're from the ancients. 
And those idiots want me to dig them up, to desecrate their graves. The ancients have been disturbed. What do you think is causing these storms? And who knows how to fight them? Who knows what can stop them? Aha. Uh -huh. You said you don't want to go back. Back to where? Hawkins didn't send you. He wants me to go back digging there. But how can I go back? They will take me again. Take a few deep breaths. Relax, okay? Can't you see? It's all around us. The panic, people dying, the creatures. Can't you see that? They will rise from their graves to avenge themselves on the living. The ruins that have risen from the ground, who do you think made that happen? And they are but a herald. Soon, they will show themselves. Then we will all be doomed. Something is happening. But I've seen no evidence of spirits. Well, Hawkins does want you back at work. Oh, I knew it. But I won't go. You can forget it. You want something to be afraid of? Really afraid of? There's nothing you can do that's close to what those spirits will do to me. I can't go back there. No one knows how to stop the Ancients. Find someone else for the job. Send Dwight. He doesn't hear them. He doesn't believe. But you'd better know. The spirits will come for you. And there is no protection. I have something that will protect you from the Ancients. There is no protection. That's not what the mages say. They've been searching for objects like this amulet, for a way to protect us all. That's just a cheap necklace. Have a closer look. How can this protect me? This is what people have been searching the ruins for. Answers. For protection. And they found something? Yes. Objects with the power of the ancients. Objects like this amulet will protect you. The mages guarantee you'll remain 100% spirit free. But we need to find more of these. More artifacts so everyone can be safe. Yes, yes, of course. That's why it's important for you to have this. If we're to protect everyone, we need you to look for things at the excavation site. Of course, of course. I'll do it. I'll help protect everyone. A little more for me.
I've got worries enough of my own. Ah! 